Hello day dreamers, welcome to Total Thoughts with the Carlist Wars mod. This is Dario, hello hello. And welcome back to our United Kingdom campaign, Los Hijos de la Gran Bretaña, that we are expanding a little bit. So if this is the first time that you join us, <laughs> I recommend that you go back to... This is episode 5, so it's not much... Uh, much uh, episodes that you would be behind. I really recommend that you go to epi episode one where I do an introduction in extension of the mod and the features that it has and we were continuing from there. So previous episode we did uh, I did show you the, uh, a replay of the uh, we take in Cadiz. We move forward with uh, half our army that it consists of the amazing number of six units <laughs> and we were attacked actually we were at the gates not besieging malaga yet but uh, very close to it and we were attacked by an army there was two regiments one of uh, grenadier and one of uh, hunters the cazadores that we were able to take out completely these guys are still uh, on their feet However, the garrison also came out and we killed all of them except this 145 Levy Infantry. Now, uh, as I did mention in the previous episode, but in case you didn't watch it, uh, we don't have any Japanese uh, uh, castles anymore. With this mod, uh, Easy, who is the main developer, has uh, made some custom custom uh, siege battles, uh, uh, maps, sorry, for the siege battles. And there are no Japanese castles, but we have a fort instead. And these forts, depending on its size, this one is uh, actually level three, which is, so it's not it's not a small. What do we have? Ours is level two in our capital in Gibraltar, so it's bigger than ours. You can, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Um, it's surrounded by cannons all around it, so I don't even I don't have any cannons of, of my own. And to try and attack, uh, it would be just, you know, very bad. Uh, we learned that the, ha the hard way, playing uh, before this campaign, we did play as the Portuguese. Uh, with the two factions, one episode we did with each, to see how that went. And yes, I attacked one uh, one fort and uh, once and, and that's it. Una y no más. <laughs> just once. So, I'm waiting them out. Uh, to see if they attack us. However, looking into this, I was thinking because um, here you can see with the cost and all that, but let me show you. If you want to build, upgrade anything, look at the prices 32,000, 8,000, 19,000, 14, etc. So everything that you want to build, it has a very, very, very large cost. And besides, you can see that I cannot build them, not only because I don't have the money, but I don't have the resources. Um, most of it is timber, like this is coal, but most of it is timber. I don't have timber, so I, even if I had the money, I wouldn't be able to to build a lot of stuff. Um, since I won't be able to to afford it, so you can see Cadiz here, the um, uh, level 1 is subsistence farm, level 2 is the tenant farm, it costs 6,800, you need timber and it takes 8 tons. And I see that here in Malaga, actually, they are almost done with it. Only one more ton. So I'm thinking uh, also the, the mine, the stone mine, that we will get this resource. And having resources helps a lot with your treasury because if you don't have goods to trade, you will get uh, garbage. Very, very small amount. But once you start getting uh, resources, like the stone, for example, that will increase your the, the the income that you get. It would help to have uh, someone to trade with, <laughs> uh, which we don't have right now. Uh, I'm at war with. We didn't discover these uh, factions yet. However, they were allies of the liberals, and since I went to go war with them, they joined, and they don't want peace. I did say, yeah, how about? Eh? Let's uh, have a cup of tea here and yeah, unacceptable. They, they don't they don't want peace for now. So now is everything waiting until 
turn 14, around that, because uh, there's a scripted event on turn 12 in which uh, the unhappiness will grow so much that uh, the Spain liberals uh, will uh, lose or will uh, th there will be so much unhappiness that rebellions will spawn and in certain places where they cannot uh, hold it, they will lose the regions and many factions will uh, will arise, right? The same thing will happen in France where the, the main faction, the July... I think it's the July monarchy. I, I always forget. I don't know if they are a monarchy at this time or is this already... No, it only says Catholicism. What about here? Catholic, yeah, and uh, but ho how about your no, they don't say okay, so I don't know, July monarchy we're gonna call it, uh, there's gonna be uh, an uprising and the Bourbons, the Bourbons uh, uh, loyalists will start uh, spawning uh, rebellions, etc and they will take a ton of uh, regions that in the end uh, when the dust settles actually the Bourbons will be the, the, the biggest faction in in the game, uh, at least uh, until the, the f July monarchy can start uh, gaining something back on that. We will see that soon enough. But in the meantime, uh, the, the Spanish liberals right now, they only have us as a... So they are going to concentrate their power. Uh, because we attacked very quick, uh, I was able to take this, uh, to take Cadiz, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to take Malaga before they even have many units to, to spare and by the time you they create an army even though they're already they already have a couple units in there um, hopefully those rebellions will spawn and they will have the, their hands tied with that and we can even try to make friends with their enemies or whatever we'll see but for now I cannot recruit much more units etc so what I'm gonna do and Malaga is my target I think I'm gonna break the siege and actually I'm gonna attack these two units um, pass turn and give them the chance to build finish building this uh, stuff and then I will uh, uh, siege them again so we will just lose one turn but we will gain eventually some uh, some better uh, buildings for us so without any more talking here blah 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 Dario See if we uh, well, actually I don't know if we can reach. Let's see. No, I won't be able to reach. So it's yeah. And we have this uh, bastard. Pardon my French. <laughs> that is trying to kill my my general. That is the only one that we have, and is the faction leader actually. Uh, uh, George de la C Evans. And uh, that would make uh, Lindsay very unhappy. However, she is a cunning wife and give us a minus 5% to the character's chance of being assassinated. And that probably has saved our life uh, so far. And we also got this trade lucky because the first time that uh, this guy mm, was unable to kill us. Uh, and as we escape, he gave us another minus 2%. So hopefully we can keep this guy alive. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break the siege. Forward, yeah. This way, even though they are gonna be able to. Oh, shoot! Look at that. Now they have more garrison. They respawn all the garrison that they had at the beginning to full strength, I guess. Well, they are garbage anyway, but uh, I think it's worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Now these guys will be replenishing, not because they don't have a general, I guess. Doesn't have a general, yeah. Okay. Sir. What about my general? Can mm. Oh, he can. So we could risk it and send our general first and our army afterwards. And if not, I would reload. I'm uh, sorry about that, but uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, risk uh, the whole army <laughs> would be a suicidal. Let, let's let's see. Okay, yeah, they come. All right, so that's good. 
now uh, see if we can take them out in this uh, turn and and then we go back to to siege those guys probably will attack us because they have the full strength but i'm just gonna wait it out so anyway i meet you guys on the uh, battle map and we will fight doroteo Herbas. look at those patillas that he has all the way to the mustache we don't have that long we have long ones but not that long these are manolo style these are mm, mr mm, sandwich style <laughs> i meet you guys on the battle map welcome to the battlefield gentlemen so here we are facing the uh the spanish army um okay so we have the reinforcements coming from this corner right so i'm gonna bring my general as close as possible to them so they can cover me and look at him well not very good to see him against the sun right would you mind turning around sir mr sandwich there you are if you didn't see it in the previous battles previous episode we have more battles Hold steady men calm your mounts yes sir the horse answered you <laughs> so there he is the what was his name de la c george evan george de la c evans or eva ev 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 could it be evans george de la c de la c well, it could be lazy pasted <laughs> pardon my french anyway Let's start the battle. One thing I want to tell you that after so many years, I have found, I'm gonna see if it works in this uh, battle, the bloody shaking camera that, you know, throwing the grenades with our uh, sappers, all that, and every time the, the, the grenades were landing, the camera went like <laughs> bonkers, and it's so annoying, like, goes like that. <laughs> It's so annoying to, to record um, the replays and all that. And I finally put my mind into it to look for a solution. And it's actually in the preference preference script that you can disable it because in the menus, there's no, let me click here and start. Today, sir, we attack. Uh, I couldn't find uh, anywhere uh, in the menu how to, to do it. There's no option in there. You have to go to the preferences script and it's actually towards the end that there's a um, there's a, um, an, o an option that mentions mentions uh, camera shake enable true and you just have to to s uh, change it to false you save the the script and that's it so that's what I've done. I haven't tried it. So we will see here now when our sappers start. Are they coming towards us? I'm the attacker. Why are you coming towards us? Okay, so one is line fusilier and one is line cazador. Okay, so I don't need to actually... Let me get myself in the open with good... View. We're gonna open as much as possible because we don't have any skill right now. We're gonna go to the side. And I'm already sending these sappers here and these sappers here. The general is gonna go behind us to give us encourage. Oh, they're gonna stop here. I think they're gonna take the higher ground. Eh? Anakin. And they're probably gonna stop in there. Well, well, let's see what they do. Now, this is because it's very, very early in the campaign. We don't have any s any technologies this, uh, studied or anything. So it's, it takes the, uh, like uh, 11, 12 turns or something like that to get... Uh, each technology is very, very, very long. Orders complete. Okay, speed up. 
get in position. Oh, one thing that I should... That I always think about it and I always forget. Uh, where is it? Battle interface. Target zones. Yeah. Yeah, much better like this. I, I hate those cones and I always forget to take them out when I play. Uh, with Empire and Napoleon, I have them off. Uh, I don't use them. Um, so you just have to be more careful and see if the icon changes. It is red, so you don't have. But it looks much Following more orders. immersive, in my opinion. Th they stopped. No, they don't know what they're doing. Yeomanry. Yeomanry. Gentlemanry. Actually, no. I want you to give a. a yes, sir. A space. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At the double! The enemy has uncovered the hidden units. At the, the triple! Royal Engineer. Following orders! Moving out! Come on! Oh, why you give me. Oh, so if I mark, it gives me the target zones. Well, that's, that's fine. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach all the all the units with the general like this. Royal Engineer. Okay, so you two Yeomanry. move forward. Royal Sapper. Royal Sapper. We're Moving gonna out. have Yeomanry. once we finish our battle. And you, maybe I put you on column. At the double. Because they move faster like that, I believe. Moving out. And we're gonna try to do a flanking maneuver. Royal engineer. Move that. Moving out. Moving out. Royal sapper. Royal sapper waiting for us after the battle. What do you want for supper? Supper. <laughs> General, you worry Look at the bombs. The bombs. The bombs. Don't drop it! Oh, we go kaboom! Trum, trum. Okay. Yeomanry. You don't go very fast. See, they move much faster in in a in a column. Yeomanry. Gentlemanry. Orders complete at the double. At the triple. Yeomanry. Okay, I don't want you to run. Maybe that's why they were going so fast. So, if they don't move, I'm gonna take the higher ground. Royal Moving out! Moving out! Royal Engineer. Moving out! I don't need the map anymore. So, let's see if the camera shake. And rock and roll works. Ready? I mean, it My doesn't work. Humanry. Humanry. Well, I'm gonna push you all the way there. At the double. No, you're gonna walk, not, not at the double. Humanry. And you are gonna get like this. Very close. At the double. No, walk. What Moving the heck out. at the double? Royal Engineer. Engineer, you're gonna go there. Moving out! Come on! Royal Sapper. And Royal Sapper is gonna come. You're Yeomanry. gonna Moving flank out. that way. Ready for battle, sir. Maybe you do have to run a little. Yeomanry. We are going up the hill. Okay, they are coming. They want to take the, the higher ground. Moving out. So Yeomanry. You're gonna keep moving though. Yeomanry. You're gonna stop and, st and start shooting if uh Royal Engineer. If needed. Moving out! Yeomanry. You're gonna come this way. Moving out! 
quickly. How about that? I'm gonna get you. They're already running. You're gonna come closer. You're gonna get up there quickly. Start firing! Royal Engineer. Royal Engineer. Throw your grenades! Yeah, look, the camera is not shaking. You don't need to go any further. Start throwing your... Do your magic. So said we lost eight. Throw your... Boom! I love it! Boom! I think this is too much for my computer. My goodness me. Let me see these guys. Fire lads! If I can get a, a soldier that is... Look at that! He's lagging a little bit. I have, I have to play with my older com my laptop because the new one that I was recording this campaign is still at the shop, it's broken, I don't know what the heck it is and, and they can find the shop BOOM! Did we kill someone? I think we did Anyway, I might have to lower some uh, some settings Because I'm shooting as well, yes Yeah, what a massacre uh, General Just have 20 seconds. Rally, everybody. 158. We lost 16 men here. My goodness me. Cara lo Four. Yeah, we are just. This is just a massacre. I don't want to get much closer with this unit because I'm gonna be shooting myself crossfire, you know? Did they lose any? Actually, no. They don't even have a chance to shoot. Look at that. The sappers are amazing. Holy mackerel. How you doing? Manolos, ¿cómo estamos? But they don't give up, ¿eh? It's typical Spanish. Goodness, I hope this doesn't crash. I did do some changes in the graphics and uh, it seems that it's not working very well. <laughs> Go too close as well. They are gonna. Where are you going? Yeoman raid. Yeoman raid. Royal Sam. You know what? Royal Sapper. Royal engineer. Shoot these guys.
Continue. Ok. So, stop. Oh, sorry. Stop. Stop. Following orders. And. Let's go get them. Stop shooting. And it's time for our general. Oh my goodness. Stop, stop. How fast? Royal Sapper. Make a stand! Ready for battle, sir! 68. Here they come! muchachos! Con orden! Kill them all! Come on! Retirada! Run for the hills! Did they kill one of my horses? Don't kill my horses! You know how expensive it is to bring the horses from England! Did I lose anybody? No. Okay. I'm a Spanish, guys, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> but you know, when we are playing Total War, we are the nation that we play, and that's it. So kill them all. Kill all the Manolos! We are the other Manolos. 20. There's another regiment, right? Yeah, it's over, it's over here. Uh, don't let them go away. Royal Engineer. Engage! Close! Charge! Charge! I hope it's not copyrighted this march. Stand to! Here they come! Save the beards with the bayonets! Do the do the British also say bayonet? Because bayonet it sounds very French to me. We have no bayonets, what the heck? With the hatchet! Yeah! Good job! Huzzah! Here they come! Hit them hard! <laughs> well, it's very cool because this cadence march in Kiev it gives a, a boost in movement and also in the charge. It has a charge bonus and it has the music. So it's tri stripping awesome. Hagan el favor, sargentos. Get that guy. Run. Where is our general? Oh, he already finished. General, uh, go there, please, just in case. The enemy has discovered your hidden units. What hidden units? Do I have hidden units? Super. Yeah, just in case you are needed, come here. Royal Sam. Stick it to them! Let's stick it to them! Yeah. What's that? They fell down. They they fell down. <laughs> they were running so fast. Look at that! Oh, it's like uh, an attack uh, movement or something. Even though it's not that guy that was uh, doing the blow. Yeah, it looked like they were f they fell down. You had too much uh, gin before the battle or what? Come on! Yeah! Okay, guys, I meet you on the campaign map and we see the results of this battle! And here we are with the results of this decisive victory. Evans George the Lazy. We lost 21 men. And we killed 465. Leaving 15 remaining. But I don't know if they are going to still be in the, in the map. So actually, I think only one unit lost. Ah, two units. So one geomandry, the one we had at the bottom of the hill, they lost 20. And the other geomandry, 
that I believe was the one that on the right flank lost one kills the sappers 164 and one th 131 with their bombs just awesome and then the, our general that keeps killing I I'm surprised that we don't have a, a, a chevron yet another 73 going after them um, when they were retreating so these guys shooting they kill actually not bad they lost 20 they kill 52 and they are not as good as the hunters that well, the thing is that with all the bombing that we were throwing at them the hunters didn't have the chance to shoot <laughs> these guys kill 29 and this one kill 16 all right so let's see if they still now we kill them all those 15 run back to March. to meet their mama Ready for battle. oh and i can join them now let's do that i could i could uh, besiege but that's what we want to avoid so they finish uh, building so Ready i'm just gonna join my my army destination reached destination unknown poor little thing okay so that give us some some killings uh, hopefully we're gonna get some experience soon uh, these guys they might attack us again because they have more but anyway let, uh, let's see what they do if they want to attack us attack us let's go forward i can't do anything else i don't have money to build i could recruit but uh, i don't think it's necessary now and I only have 520 income and you see they are all 90, 95, 100, 110, 115, 120 so yeah no let's pass turn this will be turn 9 if I remember correctly yeah oh no is the, the agent Please, 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 cross fingers. No. Die, you bastard. Fail and die. No. Well, I think we are safe. Oh, they are sending more units. Oh. You know, it's tempting. It's tempting. But I want Malaga. And I cannot... Uh, I don't think th there's no uh, an option to ask for uh, for uh, how do you call it to ask for the region I mean a stone right now it doesn't help me to build anything you know, the thing is that it gives me more income but uh, what I could do if I cannot ask for a region is ask for money and trade i mean if they don't have units in there eventually the 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 rebels are gonna take i i, I don't know satisfactory so they would they will accept a trade that would give me money the thing is that as we get stronger the liberals are gonna get stronger as well i could wait and take Malaga first and then either ask for for peace or let them ask me again I didn't notice actually the portraits at, in the background were they were these there before in the previous build I don't remember now it's pretty cool look at look at that uh, painting in the in the background and, and it's a British one right so it's like he came to our to our to, to see us is it, we are in our office <laughs> oh no maybe those guys are spanish i don't know this looks very french to me. anyway so let me see if i ask give me ten thousand no it's too much No. 
So I, I, I won't be able to get any money from them. Like this. No. So peace and trade. I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. I'm I, I want to take Malaga. I'm gonna let you know why. In a moment when we get the, the map. But it's good to know that they, they want uh, maybe they ask again. But sometimes the AI, if you don't agree the first time, then there's no way. Again, they, they don't offer to you. And if you offer, they say no. But uh, I think I'm in, in a strong position here. For income, Marcos Soto. Assassination attempt. He's still at large. Other tracker, yeah. Thank goodness that we have good traits. Uh, look at that, that guy is hurting. Uh -huh. Look at him, he's like, oh, oh my god, I feel terrible. Look at him, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, and two units there. I mean, even combined, if they don't send any more stuff. Let me see here. So yeah, they destroyed one thing. I guess they, they want to build a military building to get stronger. Uh, small deposit. But now the tenant farm and the stone mine is finished. So if we take the city, we can take advantage of that. So what I'm going to do is siege it. Uh, those 96 uh, would come to the rescue. I mean, the sappers is the, the, the biggest uh, advantage that we are getting in here. Even if they attack us with these two uh, army units, uh, we're going to be fine. However, if they keep sending more, uh, that is going to be complicated, you know. And this is going to take five turns. Because there's no way I can attack the, the, uh, the castle. I already mentioned that, the, the fort. So you can see this uh, respawn again. There was only 145 men. Now they have four. We are in spring, so we are fine. We have the whole summer. It's gonna be okay with that. About that, we won't get penalties in winter and all that. These guys are very bad. Look at morale one, morale two. So they break very easily. Uh, while we have morale seven and nine. So. Okay, um, construction complete in Cadiz, so now I can actually recruit my own intelligent agent, What's it's a uh, super agent 88, Har Harbottle Dimble Dimbleby, Harbottle Dimbleby, my goodness. Your parents didn't like you much, right? Um, yeah, no traits, no nothing. I don't know if this guy can do anything against one of the same. The same. Can you? Oh, well, we might not. He cannot do anything. Well, shoot. Uh, what was that? Special agents are still in unrest among drivers. Human mind and dangerous. Yeah, but not kill that one though. Okay. Now Sevilla though. Sevilla they are recruiting more units. They have four now and they're gonna get better. What turn are we? Nine. Nine or this would be turn ten. Okay. Well, one armed citizenry and one levy. One levy. We have three. Ah, one militia. Okay. Well, militia actually has pretty decent stats, more or less like a regular. So we have five units plus the fort. And I've never played actually a defensive fort battle, but uh, if we shoot cannons like a uh, I got shot in the past. That would be pretty good. As long as they don't have and they don't have cannons, each cannons themselves, we're gonna be okay. 
7 turns for that, 15 for that. They will give us another construction slot. And we'll see what we do in there. And there's still nobody to... to uh, how about peace? Unacceptable. And, and trade. Oh, I can ask for trade. Unacceptable. How about if I give you everything I've got? <laughs> they don't want to. So if we weren't at war with, with them, we could trade actually. Unacceptable. Unacceptable, unacceptable, unacceptable. Actually, there's one thing that um, the victory conditions. We need to. Uh, we need 30 regions, but also we need Vizcaya uh, region. Bilbao is the capital, which is the, the capital of the Carlist. We need Madrid, the capital of the Spanish liberals, and we need Lisbon, the capital of this, the Miguelist. So we are already at war with them. So I'm thinking that uh, later on, when the rebellions spawn and all that, and I didn't mention why I didn't, uh, uh, I did want Malaga, because Malaga would cover this area, this flank. Uh, covering the entrance to Gibraltar, our capital, and Cadiz is covering the other one. So, if someone wants to attack us, normally they follow the roads, the, the AI armies. They don't go out because it would take like a million years to, to go through that. They like, if escape. I want to go there, you know, it's, it's, it's very hard to, to, to do it. You can do it, but it's very hard. So, normally they follow the roads. So. If you get the bottlenecks, in this case Cadiz on one end and Malaga on the other, we are protecting our home region much better. And that's why I don't want an enemy faction in Malaga. So I want to take it. And once we take it, then we talk about peace. Because we we might have a, a cushion between them and us with the, all the new factions that will spawn. And then we'll see. Now, at first thought, what I would do, actually, is uh, the Andalusia rebels are going to spawn here. I don't know if they are going to take Sevilla, because they are getting a lot of units, but they might take Huelva. And Huelva actually would be very nice to have, because we already have a one train station, and if we could uh, manage to get it, we could send units, good units, uh, infantry units, from here, to to Huelva directly, you know, choo choo, and you're already there. And then we could maybe expand, we're already at war with them, and go for the Migalist first, uh, while trying to keep happy the um, the whatever rebels are around here, are around us. But anyway, that's uh, much uh, ahead. So I think I'm gonna leave it here, so we don't have a very long video. I, I talk a lot, so in the end, it's gonna be close to an hour, like always. But what can we do, right? I'm too old to change. <laughs> if you don't know me by now, you will never, ever, ever, ever know me. Anyway, so the mod, as always, please check the video description. There are links, a ton of links. You have links to uh, the mod Discord, the Total Fox card list uh, wars. That is already available for custom battles, multiplayer and single player, and you can download the mod in ModDB and on Steam. The instructions, etc., and all that are at, at the Discord. There's also the link to not the campaign. Uh, this campaign is in early alpha. Uh, this is like a playtest. I'm helping easy to trying to find issues and stuff. And very grateful. But I have a lot of fun with this. And this it will come later on. There's also a link to Easy's YouTube channel. You can find the installation instructions and stuff. And Dev Diaries as well. And his uh, Patreon link if you are willing and able to support him. And also, the I think I'm going to add the link to my own Patreon. Because I'm going to start uploading Naval Battles on my main channel here. Nobody usually or very few people like 
to watch long naval battles, like half an hour, 40 minutes, etc. But uh, since I do them, I, I love it. Uh, I'm, and I'm not going to publish in my main channel. I'm going to publish it on, on my Patreon. You don't have to pay, though. So don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to leave it open to public, but you can give it a look. And naval battles will be there if you like uh, uh, the kabooms like uh, I do. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. You can become a channel member if you if you are willing and able as well. And you get uh, early access to videos. And I would be very grateful for your support. But anyway, thank you very much. Please take care. Be safe. And I hope to see you soon with more adventures of Mr. Lazy here <laughs> in Malaga, killing Manolos. Look at this beautiful map and bye bye for now.